Call this Mingo I came fiscal court to order on this uh, 10th day of May 2022, 5 p.m. I'm going to ask Jason Bullock to lead us in a prayer and play some play. Let's bow your heads, please. Dear Lord, we just love you so much. We just thank you for the beautiful day we have here to come and uh, celebrate you and to uh, do business for our county. Dear Lord, we just ask that you be with us in this meeting, that uh, every decision we make will be, uh, will be prayed about and be uh, thought about, that will be best for our county, dear Lord, to continue to grow and good for our people. Dear Lord, we, just, uh, we also know in the next few weeks in this country, in our county, that a lot of decisions are going to be made, dear Lord, and uh, we pray for those decisions, but we do know uh, in the end that you're still in control. Lord, again, we just thank you for this county. We thank you for our people. We ask you to be with those who are sick, who need help, that are uh, struggling, dear Lord, that you just like wrap your loving arms around them. And it's your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For you, you have the uh, minutes of the April 26th meeting. So, motion to Larry Cam, second to Sam Small. Is there any discussion, corrections, or additions to the minutes? Discussion, corrections, or additions to the minutes? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Minutes are approved. Before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, including the late list. Including the late list. Make a motion. Motion for Sam Small. Second for discussion. Second by Larry Morphew. Any discussion? Yes. And on page two and three, it's a monthly gatekeeper service dated. Uh, 9122 and uh, 9121 I'm sorry and another one 10121 and 11121 and 7121 how come there's a late on there uh, well Christina um, they were sent to her that they had not been submitted so uh, she submitted them all wasn't she supposed to have submitted them last year? Huh? Two or ten. Do uh, we didn't have them until then, so we submitted when we got them. Don't they need to be doing better at keeping the records than that? Uh, I think Christina has got the handle on everything got the email straightened out. She's um, should be submitting them monthly. And then on the late list, uh, 41822 feed from Farm and Garden. What would the feed be? That's uh, probably for the animal shelter. Okay. We're, are you are you telling me the oh yeah 41980? That's for the animal shelter. It's almost, dog 600, food and cat food. almost $600. Yeah. <coughs> Any other discussion? What is the monthly gatekeeper service? That is the website that OCA has and that's their uh, services that they it's provide it's anytime you put it in. shovel and oh yeah. That's yeah. the that's website. So they moved it. Yeah. That's okay. You said thank you. I was looking for shovel shovel. That's what they're well, it's a shovel shovel. Yeah. It's a yeah. Okay. That's well that's your sound. Cryptic that. Uh, any more discussion? Being none, I'm fair to say aye. Aye. Opposed like saying? Okay. 
bills are paid. Um, I'd like to have a motion to go into closed session for a few minutes under uh, chap at section B, chapter 1 of KRS 6118. Motion by Larry Cannon. Second. Second by Larry uh, Morphew. I want to ask uh, Tara Ward and Dustin Bratcher to join us. Thank you. Right. Make a motion to go back in. Second. Right. Motion right. second. Go back in open yeah. session. All in favor say aye. 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 We're back in open session. So. Second, please. I second. Okay. Let's go right on down here to the treasurer's April report. We just make a motion to acknowledge. I'll second. Motion to Sam. Second by by uh, Jason to uh, acknowledge the receipt of the treasurer's April 22 uh, financial report. I'll make a motion also to accept the clerk's April financial report. Okay. All in favor on those say aye. 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 <coughs> Did you get the motions, Miranda? Okay. Uh, okay. Then, uh, then we have, uh, this is different. The clerk's report on the sheriff delinquent taxes. So we make a motion to acknowledge. Motion by uh, Joe Barnes, second by Larry Cam. Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. One more. The sheriff's quarterly report. Make a motion. Motion by Sam Small. Second. Second, second by uh, Larry Morphew. Any discussion? Ben, uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign? Motion carries. Uh, okay, this the, uh, have all of you seen the health insurance policy? I got a question for Ann. Okay, so we either make a, do we Probably ought to make a motion second. I'll make a motion. I'll uh, Motion by Jason, second by Larry Cam to, uh, uh, Approve the uh, 2022 20, 23 health insurance policy discussion. So, so, all the plans are free. This front page, you kind of explain that with the, the child care. Yeah, um, everything's <coughs> the same. Uh, our insurance rate did go up about six percent, but then if, the, if we still have the free plan to the employee, and then if they buy for their child, spouse, or family, it stayed the same. We were able to do that. Uh, the, Employees that use an FSA account, that's where they take their money and withhold so much a week from their check tax free. Uh, currently, the max is 1500 I would like us to raise that up to 2640 because of the higher deductible. Uh, this just allows employees to put back a little more. And then the child care, um, I don't know if we're going to have any interested, but I did want to make it available if it's okay with you all. There is a way uh, for young people who pay child care that they can have that withheld from their check weekly tax deducted, you know, no tax on it. On that increase, is that we can make that decision? To the 2640? Yeah. Yes. I mean, that you all have to approve that. Okay. And all we're doing is raising their limit and it costs yes. us more. Well, that but I mean, what's the federal government limit, limit anyway? I mean, on that. What's the, uh, what's the I think it's. Close to four thousand. That's kind of what I was. Thinking. So why do we even? I mean, why do you want to stop at twenty? Why? Yeah. Can they just whatever the federal limit is? Could we not just do that? Well, you do have some exposure there because the FSA on July one, that money is available to them one hundred percent. Yes. And I don't think. Um, and you got to pay that. We got to pay that front. You're not going to have anybody. So if he was to leave the county. Yeah. They could hold the bag for some. Yeah. It's happened one time. And it, and it works the opposite way too. If an employee leaves, they can't get that money out. So we can't do July 1, 2600 or 2000 and then and, and January 1, you can't do that, do another 2000. Uh -uh. Are they can because they're putting it in their check. Okay. Yes, they're putting it in their check. Okay. With the higher deductible, uh, a lot of places are going to that. that a uh, good example is we've got two ladies pregnant and they know they're going to be out quite a bit of money and they're going to want to put the max out that they can. How much can you put in your, uh, this is, is it the same amount for your child care as the 26? Is that two different? 
That's two different accounts. Two different accounts. Uh, how much? Uh, can you... uh, she actually has not got that limit with me, mm -hmm. uh, but it won't be more than the twenty. That we up front that money too. No, that's, that's out of the paycheck, isn't it? Yeah, that's out of their paycheck. Yeah. And that works different. Um, works. Right. I'm not for sure somebody's going to want to take that because while you're getting to use that money tax free up front, a lot of people when they file their taxes they and deduct that, tax. they kind of expect that big amount back. So I want to make sure they understand that. They're getting it up front. Yeah. Yeah. They might not, you know, want to do that. <coughs> We've already got a motion and a second. Yeah, yeah. then we'll pick up two motions after that. Okay. So do we need to go ahead and make sure this motion that works so on our motion, so uh, the first motion needs to be to recommend that the uh, FSA account for employee contribution is increased from 1500 But we need to vote. We've already got a motion second. Yeah, this. but are you going to? You can just accept policy with the attachment uh, okay. as presented. Yeah. With those two attachments? Y'all got that. Do they have an attachment? In my motion to uh, add to accept the attachments. Yeah. Okay. All right. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Okay, the treasurer's bond. Uh, we got to prove it. And uh, if she shows up for court, well, we don't have to pay that. We're getting our money back. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of humor there. I thought this was a good joke. <laughs> You're doing good, Larry Cam. You're doing what? good. You're doing good so far. That's right. I have promised Dan, I've took a new lease on life. I'm going to be more You need a motion to accept that? Yeah, to, we got to approve that tre increase in the treasurer bond. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve the increase in the treasurer bond. Second. Second. Okay, got a motion second. Got a motion by uh, Jacob Bullock. Second by anywhere, anyone you want to get. Everybody else second. Um, I want to introduce to you. Uh, Brenda Renfro from the Senior Center. She's going to tell us about that ARPA program where we bought the senior van and the transportation. Well, Judge, we just need to vote on that yeah. motion. I'm sorry. I thought we did. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed by sign. Mr. Kerrigs. All righty. Okay. A handicap accessible van was purchased with ARPA funds. A full time driver was hired with those funds and the fuel is also purchased with ARPA funds. The van is used to transport seniors 50 and above who do not have transportation to necessary appointments in Ohio County. Example, medical appointments, grocery store, Walmart, pharmacy, post office, government offices, and etc. The committee funded the project because they saw the need in Ohio County for transportation in city and from outlying communities into town for people with no means of transportation. The program took a few weeks to catch on, but has really started to be an asset to the citizens of Ohio County. For April, we made uh, 58 trips. That was for 20 people. We went places like Fuller Physical Therapy, Walmart, Post Office Hospital, Doctor's Appointment, Nursing Home, IGA, We've transferred to people from McHenry, Horse Branch, Centertown, Rockport, Fordsville, Hartford, Beardown, and Cromwell, and that's just the beginning. It's, uh, it's satisfying to be able to help these people get into town <coughs> to take care of business, where in the past they had to pay family and friends, sometimes a lot of money, to bring them to town for medical appointments, other appointments, and to get food. We, such as, we have a client from McHenry. He's got metal rods in his back, suffers from severe pain. His doctor was continuously telling him that he believed physical therapy would help with his pain. And he would always refuse the therapy because he had no way to get to therapy three days a week. So he heard about our program and called. We've been transporting him to Fuller Therapy. He's been going for about three weeks and he says he's seen great improvement in his back pain. Possibility he may be able to return to work. Uh, we also have a man we just got this week. He has no family in the county. His daughter lives in Florida. She calls us and sets up his transportation from Florida. And she's just thrilled and she called today and said a check's in the mail. 
but we always tell our clients when they thank us for the service that it was made possible by, by ARPA Grant and the Ohio County Fiscal Court for allowing the program to be funded. Thank and that's you. all I got. Thank you. Any of you have any questions for Brenda on that? No, it's a great service. We've, yes. we've done a good yes. thing there. Yes, it is, Judge. Um, next, we have the second reading of our budget, which is Ordinance 2022-4. Uh, and this is the second reading. We've already done it once. I need a motion. So move. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second. Second by Larry Cowan. Any discussion? Is there any discussion? Judge? Yes. I just want to make sure they know three things that we added since the first reading. Uh, the water district got a million dollar grant, so it has to go through us as the fiscal agent, so I added that. Um, the sheriff's department, they increased um, through the legislation, had an increase in some funding. So we corrected that and the numbers in there. And then the road, uh, the judge can talk about that, the CRA money, we got the final uh, number on that and I corrected it to reflect the correct amount. And it was an increase. It was an increase, yeah. It was an increase. And we was able, so this has everything in there with there will be all our CPI rates for oh, yeah. all their employees. Every, every office. Okay, That's correct. Pull up. Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Uh, thank you. That uh, motion carries. And I will say this is two years in a row out of the history of the Ohio County that the budget has passed unanimously. I know. I started to say no just, just to get to mess up our record. And made me what, what did you say? Miranda, <laughs> 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 Being nice again. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was still listening to her, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She was ready for it. Yeah. Okay. Um. <coughs> I have two here that are just... Uh, uh, in the uh, and I'll put this other one up. We're going to uh, we didn't hire a new uh, golf course attendant. Uh, seasonal. The name is uh, Mackenzie Brown at level one, uh, 1023 an hour, and she can work up to nine months, but it won't be that long. So, uh, Judge, is that a new hire or, or it, replacement it, hire? It's in a budget. It's a replacement. Roll call, Miranda. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. I'm going to just a pause, just a second. Let Sam look at that. Or whoever else is on the wage committee, take a picture thing. I think those are something we just do administratively. I don't believe we need the motions. I don't know if that's up to what you guys think. We don't know the committee. No, I mean, it's, it's not enough, but so like, if things should be checked on. Okay, we should be good. Okay. On the report? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, committee reports. I know we had a road committee report. Uh, yeah, I, uh, from a road committee, I have a motion I want to make. <laughs> is I want to make a motion to accept the flex fund exhibit one as presented for the this year's project list. I'll second. Motion by Sam Small, second by uh, Larry Marquee to accept exhibit one for the flex fund application. <coughs> Any discussion? And for those that wanted that's road money. Kind of that, so. Yeah, it's road money for yeah. blacktop. Yeah, for blacktop. Who's the second? <coughs> Larry Morphy. <Murphy. coughs> okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. That passes. Okay. Other committee reports. Is there any other committee reports? Speaking of, let's go to the magistrate's comments, Sam. Uh, 
Uh, just uh, want to remind everybody to get out and vote uh, if next Tuesday, if not before, so we can uh, uh, have your chance to speak. And that's all I have to do. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, I need to make a motion to pull a thousand dollars out of my discretionary for the McHenry Fest. Second. Have a motion, to Joe Barn. Second. What's that? I'm sure Miranda's got that to authorize. And for Andrew to write the check. Second. Yes. Okay. Any discussion? Joe. Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, black sign. Uh, anything else, John? Um, no, just like uh, Sam said, you know, get out and vote. And then, and in case anybody is wondering about the voting places where you can go and vote, the, the schools, are you going to go over that? You got a list, probably. Yeah, uh, you can vote at uh, the high school. You can vote at Horse Branch Elementary, Western Elementary, Southern, Southern Elementary, or over to Living Faith Baptist Church, over to Pleasant Beach and Fort and Fordsville. Yeah, you always leave them. <laughs> and you can you can vote at any of those, whichever one is the most convenient for you yeah. during the day. And when your ballot comes up, it'd be for your precinct. We still have the 19 precincts. So your ballot will come up for that precinct. So that is a plus this year. You can be able to go to any of those and vote uh, wherever you want to. We have to, okay, on our co service money, the part that, oh, we've already done this. But because it's going to be carrying over into the next fiscal year by four yeah, years, yeah. no, nothing changed with doing that. We need to pass resolution 2022-10 to allow Ann to uh, submit this House Bill 1 co service You'll, you'll get this again, but this is for the portion that we did not use already this year. Good. That's 2022-30. Yeah, I, I said that already. Okay. The price that they give us, that's what they can't raise it if it goes up after if we get this year fiscal year can I, I, I don't I don't think so. But now this is this is not just road money, this is another project. A lot of trouble. Some of it. I'll first say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carried, Joe. Uh, real quick, the ARPA money for the fire departments and cities. I know we've talked about it in the in the past, but I didn't know if we had a I think we're still expecting a check in July, right? I have went on the website and requested the money, so it should be by the middle of May. It'll amazing. Okay. So pretty We're about there. It'll be safe. We're about there. And when well, it comes, we can get it and give it to our departments. Our departments. Okay. I mean, it'll have to go through court. Now we we present it, then they PO it out. We've approved it, but they got to purchase order it out for each item they buy. I thought we said that they could use it. Whatever they need. They can. Well, they can as long as it's through the guidelines, but they it has to come out. But they, they don't have every receipts yeah. and everything. We don't write the check to the fire department. We write to whoever they buy the stuff from. So just a little bit more uh, checks and balances there. That's even sooner than I thought. But we, it, I, I've stuck with the July. I just wanted to make that. sure because uh, I'm sure some of them are needing to purchase some things. And if they know that money's yeah, coming right around the corner. We have Rosine's going to buy a truck with theirs and put money with it. And they're wanting to put out their bids by the way. Okay. Who uh, seconded the resolution? I'm sorry, I can't hear you tonight. Um, Larry, more for you. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, don't have, I don't have anything to do. Larry. I didn't want to say I want to remind everybody to get out and vote, but before they vote, they ought to look what this court has done this has been a very progressive we've done a lot of work and i wish people would consider that before they vote that's all i have yeah and uh i pretty much uh, say the same thing and uh, everybody get out and vote
Justin. Dr. Rich, thank you. Anybody got anything for good the body? Yep. Be done. This uh, meeting stands at John. Guys, you guys, hey, I'm you sorry. Um, uh, I got a question. Um, I live on 19 School Road. Which one is my magistrate? I voted for you, didn't I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you remember coming to my house with two signs with heads? Yes. You know that thing still ain't up there. That was four the years horseback ago. Riding. Yeah, for your uh, for the uh, buggies. Yeah. Yeah. Any yeah. chance of ever seeing them signs on that? We we road? need to try to get them up, don't we? I'm, I think we've just overlooked that. Let's get that to uh, yeah. the road department tomorrow, and we'll make sure they get that. Now, uh, something before we put them up. I know you've got you live in that sharp curve going down that hill. Yeah, and I've I've had one one truck one car actually almost got the horse going up the hill one day. Right. <laughs> Now what we we talked about once before was we're gonna put it on that straightaway before you yeah, right go there, around by, it. by the then, cemetery, yeah. Right. But now at the bottom of the hill, we probably need to put it a straightaway before you come up the hill, is that correct? I'd I'd go back at least by Happy Hollow. Oh, okay. Take it on back that far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the only reason I I just wanna make sure that they they know going into that curve. Yeah, that curve is bad. We there's been three or four wrecks there the last month. Right. Well, when I drove down through there just the other day, uh, it looked like fresh yeah, on the right hand side. Yeah, their car up in it, and then they parked up there at uh, Lucy's driveway. Well, it looked like someone had lost it going down the hill on the right hand side and yeah, and uh, cleaned the ditch out. So, <laughs> they, they do that regularly. Right. We'll, we'll get. The, you, you think we've already had a man? We we have. We got, it should yeah. be in his garage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I seen him in the back of his truck. Let's put okay. it we we had him in the back of the truck. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and he bought a horse. That's all. They I were know. they were supposed to put him up. <laughs> yeah. Miranda, <laughs> remind me to remind the road department in the morning. Okay. And I only got one other question. This is just my own curiosity. What happened to the polling places as to why there's only six this year? Um, it's a, it's just. No. The state secretary, of, uh, our secretary of state, uh, because we, we changed all these things during COVID, mm -hmm. and it seemed to work, and, uh, and and this is the state's ideal to have fewer voting centers. Okay. The precinct still exists, but it's to give the voter a preference where to vote. Like, for example, if you lived in Fordsville <laughs> and you worked in uh, uh, Beaver Dam, Mm -hmm. You pass the high school, you might vote there and say, "Well, back to Fort Bend." Okay, that's not bad. Not a good example because I've only left Fort Bend once tonight. Yeah. Something nineteen. It actually saves the county several dollars. It saves money too. Okay, I, I'm just curious. I think that's a lot of money. Yeah. Went from okay, I used to go over here. And then right. right. You yeah. Well, yeah. well yeah. unfortunately, uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, where you live. Uh, I'll have to go. At one time, you voted on Rochester Road, and then no, I, I voted down here at uh, Rockport. Rockport the last time, but we used to vote right there on Rochester Road, and uh, there was a uh, the way you got voted uh, divvied up. There were some people that was right there close, and they still had to go over Rockport. So mm -hmm. the the good thing is, is you might have to drive a little farther, but you can go to any of them. As where, you pass where, by. Where, where's my closest polling place now? Western School probably. Yeah. And that is? It's uh, right down there, the uh, 85 and uh, 62. Yeah. Oh, or you can go, if you're coming to town, then you probably be close. High school. Okay. Yeah, that would probably be the two closest ones to you. All right. But uh, we'll, we'll get them signs up. Sorry about the delay. <laughs> well, I'm going to, uh, yes, sir. I was going to ask about Nicholas Lane. Oh, we're still working on it. Still working on it. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully, soon we'll get to. I intend to have it done by night, but the viewing committee's got to write out the report and they got to have a lot more information than they had. <coughs> They've been there, but the report's not done. I don't know he's been there. Yeah, I, I have. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, we're we're still looking. Also, uh, you know, I talked to you about the hands in the road and doing some ditch work too. Uh, I think there's some things we can do down there to to help even with the situation you got right now. Not even that other with the tile, but even just the road, the water coming off the road where it's going out in your field. Looks like we need to clean the ditch out. But yeah, we'll have to come out there with the road uh, foreman and we can look at that.
talk to y'all about it. We're fixing to put a new ditching machine on the line here within a few days. We've got a new thing, a new uh, a machine to ditch with, got a bucket that goes on our uh, right. newest excavator. Yeah. Well, I'm going to call this meeting adjourned. See y'all in two weeks.